good morning to all of you now today we will be discussing on the topic that is design of seed and controls of used in the agriculture tractor so firstly we will see the instrument panel of tractor so instrument panel which is to be inserted in front of driver to see what your activities are to be done inside the tractor so for the in point of correct accuracy of work which is to be done by driver it will be depends upon the following two points number first good visibility of tractor operator is more important than the evident information which it displays on the tractor second in order to proper visibility over the display that means control panel the instrument panel close to operator line of vision with minimum eye movement is to be necessary so next one is the instrument panel design main guidelines which are guidelines are necessary to design the instrument panels are to be given below number first the instrument panel designed should be symmetrical as far as possible that means if you take the example of instrument panel of new holland as well as mahindra tractor so both the tractors have necessary provided instrument panel are to be match as well as symmetric in nature second one central zone of panel should be 30 degree cone for each eye movement which is 380 mm wide and 700 mm from the operator's eyes this is the dimensions which is provided for instrument panel and the degree of angle from the eye movement 30 degree and the dimensions are 30 380 mm wide and 700 mm from operator's eyes next one size of related group of instrument should be in the same that means gauges like temperature gauges pressure gauges accelerometer these are to be make in separate group wise as per the priority zone the gauges should be grouped in priority zone horizontally and according to their function that means instrument panel in which pressure gauge temperature gauge accelerometer speed these are to be placed on the basis of their importance in this control panels they are to be placed as like left side central zone and right side in case of left side engine gauges are to be placed at pressure gauge temperature gauge in case of central zone tachometer or group indicator lights are to be placed and the right section other functional gauges which are necessary fifth one all other remaining instrument can be placed on either side of priority group and keep their relative position in proper way next when the placement of control on control panel should be follow standard if you explain these terms like what are the things we are provided inside the control panel that means temperature gauge pressure gauge their speed velocity these are to be follow standard horn button should be placed to the left of key ignition switch so that it's easy while emergency this is very important things which is necessary while operating the tractor as well as any automobile vehicle next one <coughs> this is the diagram of instrument panel in which here it is shown the uh, points number 1 engine water temperature this sections this one is the left side fourth one is given fuel gauges these are the gauges second for engine water pressure third one for speedometer or tachometer which is used to measure the rpms six hour meter and the below section is given that is light switch and starter switch these are to be grouped in two groups like engine group and operational groups next one is the control requirement of operator in any tractor as well as any automobile vehicles have provided two types of control number first is hand control and second is foot control that means those controls which are used by using hand so we will call it as a hand controls and the controls which is used by using the foot that means pedal is called as foot controls so firstly we will see the details of hand control so hand controls are to be designed on the basis of variety of hands they are taken the average of number of persons are to be their anthropometric data is to be collected and from this we are designing the hand control so we will see the details of it variety of hand controls is common set with versatility of hands 
सेकेंड हैंड कंट्रोल कैन बी ऑपरेटेड बाय सिटिंग पोजीशन एज वेल एज स्टैंडिंग पोजीशन बट इन केस ऑफ इंडिया वी विल बी इन केस ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज इन वर्ल्ड यू रिवर सीट पोजीशन इज प्रिफेड यूज ऑफ कंट्रोल इन स्टैंडिंग पोजीशन इज लेस इफिशियंट देन रिजल्ट इन फैटिक दैट मीन्स एनी ट्रैक्टर और एनी एटोमोबाइल व्हीकल्स इफ यू डिजाइन इट्स कंट्रोल विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैंडिंग पोजिशन सो वी कॉन्ट डू the prolonged time of work by using standing position that's why this one is not efficient as compared to sitting position hand controls are much more accurate if you comparing these both the things that's hand control with the foot controls hand controls are used for specific accurate accuracy works next one is the foot controls accuracy of control positioning is important continuous prolonged application or large force is necessary that means if you operating the any pedal it will require 89 newton or more force for operating that particular foot so what is the locations of hand control comfort zones are ridge to ridge and control which don't require movement of upper body should be placed on anthropometric dimensions tractor operator this one is the first location second one is the comfort angles of hand should be maintained for easy reach of controls the proper location of hand control falling point must be kept in mind if you want to put the hand control in proper locations we are necessary to under out the falling points number first normally the dimension of control placements are with respect to seat reference point that means what are the dimensions you are giving for the control panels which on hand controls are necessary to take into consideration with respect to seat the refer second point the reference point should be adjustable at least 7 mm horizontally and 12 mm vertically that means whatever what your same reference point we are given on that uh, control panel designs it have necessary to adjust the distance horizontally and vertically in case of horizontally it should be 7 mm in case of vertically it should be the 12 mm recommended dimension for optimum manual control area is about 600 mm wide 30 mm either side at the middle sections that means recommended dimension they are provided for manual control purpose 600 mm wide and for the middle purpose it should be the 300 mm upper arm should make 50 degree angle with upper body line and fore arm should be 165 degree to upper arm these are the angles provided while operating this hand control lever first one is the upper body purpose they have provided 50 degree and fore arm purpose they have provided 165 degree the control must be kept approximately in line ahead of shoulder joint so that the elbow is not required to move sideways the body at angle more than 20 degree this is also important things while operating the control panel they have given the angles primarily controls which are used continuously should be placed on horizontal plane 0 to 300 mm right hand side of operators they have given the functions as well as the controls which are placed on right hand sides these are the throttle gear shift and hydraulic functions the controls which do not require accurate adjustment while will be operated this type of controls at the occasionally that means not completely continuously pto shaft that is power take off shaft clutch differential lock and parking deck which are provided on left side foot controls there is a continuous task and precision control position is not important if you compare it with the hand control application of moderate to large force is needed while operating the pedal levers we will be placing the force on it that is 89 to 130 newton pedals are provided in relation to floor and seat based on anthropometric data pedals are divided in two groups number first and number second in case of number force in which leg force is applied that is 44 to 89 newton example is brake pedal in group second in this section small force is required that is 44 newtons in this section we are operating the accelerator pedal locations of foot controls for light pressure we are already seen the examples that is accelerator pedal it required force that is 44 to 89 newton long axis of foot and lower leg should be 90 degrees so less muscular effect is to be required 
so what are the ergonomic designs of seat will be following point must be considered seat height range seat height of for small people with 10 cm seat adjustment to accommodate large people should be selected adjustment in seat 10 cm is necessary to accommodate the large as well as small people's seat adjustment should provide at least 150 mm for an arm movement for large size operator this adjustment is also necessary while designing the seat seat adjust should provide 100 mm vertical movement when you sitting on the seat that time its movement from top section to bottom section is to be necessary adjustment is 100 mm that means 10 cm seat width it should be selected on the basis of 95 percent population and same as like seat depth it should be accommodate 95 percent population seat question this one is also important things while designing the seat for comfortness purpose for driver weight of buttock and thigh should properly supported by seat question if seat is not designed properly then after long period of time there will be pain in thigh and bone the seat question should be evaluated by 5 degree seat angle from horizontal from the front side seat. See here, here is I have shown the figure one person that means driver is seated on seat. See here their back question, back question height, seat question, SRP height, heel, floor, pet, toe and their angle is also shown 95 degree angle from buttock to the their bone sections. Here, this one is the seat which is provided in automobile vehicles like car, tractor. <coughs> if you are not accurately designed the seat, then there will be pain in thigh and bone of the driver. Back question it is also important in order to avoid backage and fatness, the upper body of operator should be properly supported by cushion known as lumbar support. The angle between backrest and seat should be 95 degree. This is also important. 75 to 150 mm above seat cushion in compressed position for free swinging of shoulder and arm during the working of tractor. Back cushion width of tractor to a seat should be limited to 330 mm. For free swinging of shoulder and arms, the back cushion height of tractor should be limited to 330 mm. Armrest, this one is also important. Armrest should be provided for support and comfort the shoulder. Locations of control in relation to seat. All hand and foot controls are positioned in relation to seat. Leg to thigh angle should be 110 to 1120 degree for pedal operation with minimum foot to leg angle 90 degree. Thank you friend. We will be seeing details of next topic in next lecture.